Did you see this investigation the New York Times did on nail salons? I don't know about you, but I like getting manicures, but not if it means supporting toxic work environments or exploitation. So how are we supposed to know which salons are legit? Well, I really need a manicure, so I did some digging. Turns out the nail salon industry has tripled in the last 20 years. In fact, it's the fastest growing sector within the beauty industry. You know how there's a Starbucks on every corner? Well, for every Starbucks you see, there are four nail salons, but the industry's got a lot of problems. The chemicals that manicurists are exposed to for hours every day are linked to a whole bunch of health problems, like skin rashes, asthma, headaches, even birth defects or miscarriages. So I decided to go to a place that's on the certified healthy nail salon list published by the SF Department of the Environment. So I know it's not using super toxic chemicals and is a healthier work environment. The problem is, this certification is voluntary and only about 24 of the 250 so nail salons in this city have gone through with it. And not all cities have such a certification program. So what should you look for when choosing a healthy nail salon? First, gloves. Nail salon staff should wear gloves, especially when handling harsh chemicals. Ask your salon if they use three free products, that is, products without the toxic trio that causes all those health problems. Look around and see if your salon has ventilation, especially where gel and acrylic nails are being done. You also want to make sure your salon doesn't use nail polish remover with acetone or nail polish thinner with toluene and methyl ethyl ketone. Of course, this question is problematic because the FDA doesn't actually require an ingredients list on professional cosmetics. Okay, so I know how to find out if a nail salon is a healthy enough environment to work in, but what about labor violations? Almost half of manicurists are Asian immigrants and they're often exploited with low wages and long hours. I met up with Gina Sito, an attorney who represents nail salon workers. So going into a nail salon, someone like me, how can I tell whether there are labor violations going on there or not? What are some good signs and what are some bad signs? There are some guidelines, some general guidelines, postings. Employers in California are required to post what the minimum wage is. There's also other postings for workers' compensation, <laughs> um, meal and rest breaks. If you're familiar with the, kind, uh, the price of the average um, manicure and you, you go to an establishment where it's, it seems extremely cheap or a lot lower than what you're expecting, it's good for a consumer to think, you know, where are those costs being borne out? Notice whether or not there's windows in the salon. Uh, notice whether or not there is a break room and you are able to see it, are there windows in that break room? Are folks, are employees taking breaks? You notice them taking breaks and where are they taking them? One way to, in, to ensure that the employee is actually receiving the full tip is to pay them in cash and to give it to them directly. If they see any health and safety violations, they can also go to Cal OSHA. They can file an anonymous complaint. So I'm glad I now know what it takes to get a social responsible manicure but if you don't feel like dishing out a few extra dollars remember you can always do it yourself